What options exist for someone that has recurrent brain cancer? Yesterday, I presented the case of a 57-year-old man who came to my office with a history of renal cell carcinoma. He was diagnosed about 10 years ago and had removal of the primary tumor in the kidney. He then was subsequently diagnosed with metastatic disease to his brain about five years ago, and he had that tumor resected and had chemo and radiation to follow. He had been completely cancer-free since that time, but was recently found to have recurrence in the same area where he had his brain tumor that was resected about five years ago. On the patient's MRI of the brain, you can see the area where the tumor has came back, and all this darker gray is extensive swelling in the area causing his symptoms. As I mentioned yesterday, he has no signs of any recurrent disease anywhere within his body. So the best plan of action at this point is to obtain control of this recurrent brain tumor. I discuss a case with the patient's radiation oncologist and he has really maximized all of his radiation options at this point. If this tumor is not treated, the patient can actually die from this mass because now it's putting pressure on the surrounding brain, causing neurological symptoms due to the swelling. We always like to talk about prognosis with patients with cancer, particularly metastatic cancer. However, this patient's prognosis is actually pretty good if we can get this cancer to stop growing in his brain. To answer some of the questions that were proposed in the video, yes, this tumor was completely resected at the time of his initial surgery. However, with any type of metastatic cancer, there will usually be some remnant of tumor cells within the brain that can grow again. This is why we treat cancer patients with radiation and chemo to reduce that risk of recurrence. Well, how do we prevent it from coming back if we go in there and take it out again since he can't have any more radiation? We go back in and re-resect this tumor, we can implant a treatment called gamma tile. These are tiles filled with radiation that can be delivered to the tumor site exactly at the time of implantation. Basically, this radiation therapy will only be delivered to the cancerous area and not to healthy brain. When the surgeon goes back in and we resect the mass, we line the tumor bed with these gamma tiles. How many tiles depends on the size of the tumor. This doesn't really lengthen the time of surgery and it takes only about five minutes to put these implants in. Here you can see how this treatment works. The radiation is slowly released over a period of time directly to that area where the tumor is likely to recur the most. About 95% of the radiation is delivered to the surgical bed within the first six weeks. Then over time, these collagen tiles are slowly resorbed by the body. The only thing that will be left behind is the little titanium markers. And the best part is, is this significantly reduces the side effects that patients have from radiation. Let's talk about outcomes. In patients like ours with metastatic brain cancer, this treatment will significantly reduce their risk of recurrence at one year. I implanted this patient with gamma tile treatment and the patient went home on post-operative day number two. So far, this patient has done amazing with his treatment and will continue to be monitored very closely for recurrence. I hope you guys learned something new about advancements in brain surgery and stay tuned next week and I'll go through another cool case.